Don in London, hello, March 22nd, 2009, Mother's Day, 9 o'clock in the morning, and uh, happy, happy Mother's Day to those of you who are, and for those who aren't, uh, we remember our mothers. Mine's still alive and kicking, not too far away, uh, in her 79th year, 78, gosh. Yeah, takes me back that, thinking that. Uh, still got all her mental marbles, fortunately. So I'm very grateful for that. And she's a very wise old bird. And I mean that with great respect. So I'll be seeing my mum later for lunch, and my sister, and my brother, his wife, and my three nephews. And that's being part of family. And uh, the reason why I do these videos is because I'm in recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour. And if I weren't in recovery to from my addictions to substance and behaviour, my substance, alcohol, my behaviour, any ism or olic you can think of, workaholic, relationshipaholic, you name it, I could be an ick. Or to put a D on the, on the beginning and you've got the right answer. So uh, I'm a part of still. And if I hadn't found the fellowship of AA, I guess I would be dead by now because I was a self-obsessed compulsive drinker in the end, drinking 24-7, seven days a week. All, all the time and I didn't know how to stop because once in the allergy of the malady of I the ism of addiction addiction takes us over and it's almost like no amount of self will will ever be enough because self will will break down and often uh, the breakdown for somebody trying to recover or be in recovery from addiction is a return to that addiction in the first place a relapse or a slip as it's called and it's very easy and the reason why I go to so many meetings of my fellowship Alcoholics Anonymous is to try and ensure that I keep on track one day at a time and don't fall back into the malady or relapse emotionally spiritually or physically and then become dependent on, on something which I cannot control and it's about powerlessness the first step of the 12 step action program of AA suggests we are powerless over alcohol and when drinking life is unmanageable and I need those reminders on a daily basis and to be helping others if I can either by doing these videos or just by my presence or by my words of wisdom some of which can be helpful and some can be discarded because they don't apply so yes I'm here on YouTube sharing my experience strength and hope of one day in recovery just one day each day and what helps me most as I say is going to AA meetings and at AA meetings there is a preamble shared to make sure we're in the right place with the right information and the right understanding and it goes like this AA Alcoholics Anonymous is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience strength and hope with each other that they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from alcoholism the only requirement for membership is the desire to stop drinking there are no dues or fees for AA membership. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. AA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organisation or institution. It does not wish to engage in any controversy, neither endorses nor opposes any causes. Our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety. And that reads a bit altruistic. And you know, I think we all have a genuine desire to keep well and to help other people to the best of our abilities on any given day and the problem with the fellowship is we're only as good as we turn up on a daily basis so some of us are okay some of us are very okay and some of us are not too well at all depending on what is going on in our lives and for me I've had three big changes really if not more uh, loss of a friend loss of uh, a partner not in, the, not in the terms of death but uh, an ending of a relationship which I, sh I shall grieve too because you don't stop loving a person even if you cannot be with them uh, or you can stop loving them and you can still be with them I don't know all those things but um, unfortunately a friend died uh, my partner she and I we split up and uh, I'm going through re regime change to do with type 1 diabetes and clinical depression so that's four things and I've got a cold and it goes on and on doesn't it and the gift is just for today I need to keep my head above water uh, and be able to keep on doing what I do just staying sober one day at a time and it's Sunday morning and I feel very tired but um, and why 
because I think my mind has had a lot of difficulty shutting down. So lots of sleep deprivation and a lot of pain associated with diabetic neuropathy as well. So it didn't deter me from getting to the two meetings and I, I was able to get out and take some photos up and down the King's Road on a very sunny day. So they're on a link to the right of this video if you're watching it on YouTube. What helps me most also is books like this one, Daily Reflections. And the Daily Reflections are one page a day and each month it relates to one of the 12 steps of action in the 12 step program for individuals in the fellowship of AA. So 12 steps of action to do with attitude and behaviour and one per month in this book. So step 3, March, reads made a decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God as we understood him. And it's not whether I believe in God. Well, I think on some days I believe in God. On other days I feel like I'm an atheist. On other days I feel like I'm an agnostic and I'm absolutely susceptible to my life experiences. So life experiences can make us feel or understand the world differently on different days. So I don't want to be held down to I believe in God or I'm an agnostic or I'm an atheist. I think the real answer is that on any, on any given day, if we can get to a place of good conscience, which is the access point maybe to uh, Gandhi's understanding that I, I feel is right for me, God is truth, God is love, God works through other people. And that's also supported by the reading and the daily reflections today. So for March 22nd it says, no more struggle. And it says, and we have ceased fighting anything or anyone, even alcohol. That comes from AA's big book, page 84. I think the fourth or third edition. When AA found me, I thought I was in for a struggle and that AA might provide the strength I needed to beat alcohol. Victorious in that fight, who knows what other battles I could win. I would need to be strong, though. All my previous experience with life proved that. Today I do not have to struggle or exert my will. If I take those 12 steps and let my higher power do the real work, my alcohol problem disappears all by itself. My living problems also cease to be struggles. I just have to ask whether acceptance or change is required. It is not my will, but his that needs, needs doing. And really, for me, on a, on a sort of atheistic agnostic day, it's, it's to do with good conscience. Uh, and when it's a, a good day where I feel that uh, I'm getting good messages from others, experience, strength and hope and wisdom, through other people, then God is that connection and it's to the, an appeal to a, our good conscience or a higher power which can keep us, uh, tr stop trying to use our willpower because willpower will always fail, it's bound to, we're human and we, we make progress and we're not ever ever perfect. And <clears throat> the other book I use, I'm running out of time, as Bill sees it, one page a day just done linearly. It says here, Seeking Guidance on page 55. Man is supposed to think and act. He wasn't made in God's image to be an automaton. My own formula is on, along this line runs as follows. First, think, of every, think through every situation pro and con, praying meanwhile that I will not be influenced by ego considerations, affirm that I would like to do God's will or good conscience. Then having turned the problem over in this fashion and getting no conclusive or compelling answer, I wait for further guidance which may come into the, into the mind directly or through other people or through circumstances, people or life experience. If I feel I can't wait and st still get no de def definite indication, I repeat the first measure several times, try to pick out the best course and then proceed to act. I know if I am wrong, the heavens won't fall. A lesson will be learned in any case. And that is because we keep on making mistakes. And uh, the one mistake we don't need to keep on making over and over again is going back and relapsing or slipping and going back to drink. So the gift really is we have a, a better understanding of where we can get to. And the serenity, serenity prayer sums it up when it says, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. And that's just for today.